Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. The TIE SA Bomber, formerly known as the TIE Surface Assault Bomber and also known as the TIE Tactical Bomber and TIE Bomber, was a bombing variant of the TIE line used by the Galactic Empire and was their main source of anti-emplacement air support. They were nicknamed Dupes by the New Republic pilot Weil Lark. Antok Merrick says the two distinctive elongated space frame pods one houses the pilot, the other the payload, in addition to whatever detonite it's dropping. A TIE bomber has homing missiles and a pair of laser cannons. The TIE SA bomber was specifically designed by Sinar Fleet Systems for use in the military of the Galactic Empire. A model of light bomber, it was part of the TIE line of starfighters. Star Distinguished by their twin ion engines and solar collector panels, the bomber measured 7.9 meters long, 10.6 meters wide, 5.4 meters high. In keeping with the Empire's preference for muted colors, it was painted a bluish gray. Like the TIE Advanced Type 1 prototype, the TIE SA bomber had inclined wings which maximized its speed and maneuverability while carrying massive heavy ordnance. Unlike the other models in the TIE line, the bomber had not one but two central pods, a starboard cockpit for the pilot and a port side ordnance bay for the munitions. The cockpit featured two forward mounted laser cannons, the standard transparent steel viewport, and an ejector seat in case the pilot on a distant bombing run needed to abandon ship. The ordnance bay was divided into two sections. The forward ordnance bay carried either eight concussion missiles or four proton torpedoes. Main Ordnance Bay carried either four proton torpedoes and eight concussion missiles or eight proton bombs and 64 thermal detonators or six orbital mines or even stormtroopers. Located underneath the Ordnance Pod was a bomb chute connected to the ship's targeting systems, a TS-7B targeting computer and a 398X bomb site. The pod also featured a missile port that allowed for front launching of torpedoes. The Ordnance Bay could also be swapped for a passenger cabin with room for six.